Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. The weather's not great, it's day three. I don't know if I even said day one, day two, for any of the other days, but I'll add it. In. This is day one. <laughs> this is day two. <laughs> you understand it once you finish the video. It doesn't have to make sense, but it'll make sense in the end. Going around asking people what lesson did they learn from the last heartbreak. I found this fitting because Khaled was coming, right? Khaled was coming to perform in SA. And Khaled used to be like some shorty that broke my heart's favorite artist. I used to ride for shorty blood. But the problem was she had a boyfriend. And I thought I was going to replace the boyfriend. But you know that shit of live by the sword, die by the sword. And that happened. I'm going to go around and ask people what lesson did they learn from their heart break. People are staring. I'm a bit nervous now. Fuck, let's go. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> My fault. I'm here with Letabo. Letabo, the question for today is what lesson did you learn from your last heartbreak? Have money, guys. This is a question about game plan. It's not like <laughs> I just said you. <laughs> Ooh, what did I what I learned from my last heartbreak? Yeah. Um, you. That yeah, love will hurt you. It, love is a risk. Okay. Yeah, it, it's 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 a risky business, bro. Cause you know the intentions they come with, and when you give it your all on your side and they don't. Not that my loss. Not that my ex didn't. Yeah, you don't have to you know. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, man, it's it's risky, man. Yeah, but it's nice. I learned that run at the sight of the first red flag because that's probably going to be why the relationship ends. As soon as you see the first red flag, get out of there for real. <laughs> I mean, girls' red flags tend to be like shallow sometimes. Give an example of a red flag that's worth running from. If a guy doesn't pay on the first date. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what does that amount to later on if he doesn't pay? What, he's greedy? He's... Yeah, just someone that's not giving. Yeah. And it, it doesn't work for me personally. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, fair. Fair, fair, fair. I learned to be careful and not to give people my all, all at once. Just, just be careful a little bit. Don't give too much too fast. I've never had a heartbreak. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> Adi? Same. Really? <laughs> wow. For my last heartbreak. Yeah. <laughs> Don't date guys who are hella downgrade from you. What? <laughs> so, it's so layered. What does that mean? Downgrade in what sense? Mentally? Oh, financially? They're ugly. Uglier than you are. Okay. Right. Cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that seems a bit obvious if you ask me. Yeah. But okay. <laughs> Be a bit more patient sometimes, I would say. Also, just appreciate the little things they do. Sometimes it's their love language and yeah. you may not actually understand that. And you may feel like they don't actually feel anything for you, but yeah. you just don't understand the way that they actually show you love. Yeah. That's probably the biggest thing. How do you find the middle ground though? Because it's quite challenging to like, okay, now this is their love language and how they express their love, but then it's not necessarily what you want. And how do you find the middle ground of getting the love that you want and deserve and also understanding that that's how they teach love? It's as simple as communication. All you got to do is actually speak what you want, well, say what you want to see yeah. and also ask them what they want and how they want to be shown love and appreciation. I learned that you should date people who are willing... Shit, I don't even know how to phrase this. Date people who really like you. Who want to do things with you. That sounds so simple, bro. <laughs> and you know what? The girls are giving such like simple common sense what answers to like date okay. someone that likes you. Okay. Don't date someone that's give, ugly. Let me like, give you, let me give you yeah, that's the response something, that I'm more, tip, okay. something more, more true, more accurate. Yeah. A really big thing I learned was that your when things go wrong 
it's not always me. You know what I mean? Like being in a relationship takes two to tango type yeah. of vibe. So you can't put the blame on one person. And usually the blame, I put the blame on myself okay. and the blame is put on me. So can yeah. I swear on this thing? Yeah, go crazy. Fuck that. <laughs> I learned that I need to be patient with people, but I also can't expect the world from a person also. People are people, they're gonna make mistakes, but it doesn't mean you need to stick around for it at the same time, yeah. How do you navigate like the threshold? How do you know when it's like, yeah, yeah. I think it, it depends as a person, you need to know what you're gonna stand for, what works for you and what is too far. I don't know how I'm gonna explain it. There's certain things that I will know for me if that is way too offensive, that's too hurtful, then I'm not gonna be able to get over that. But someone else may be able to. So it's gonna so be like different. Non negotiable, for like that's non negotiable. That's yeah. just like it's, ah. it's like there's no going okay. back from this okay. kind of thing. I don't get my heartbreak, I do the heartbreaking first of all. Whoa, so, whoa, no crazy, crazy. Learned. What? Yeah, absolutely not. You've yeah. never gotten your heart broken ever. You can't play the player. I'm scared of you. <laughs> <laughs> Scary. <laughs> Ain't no ways. <laughs> Ooh, um, I guess to trust myself more, to trust my instincts, because the motherfuckers be playing out there. <laughs> so I've never had my heart broken. I've broken lots of hearts though. Are you but my are, you, are you serious? serious. Whoa, I've that's deadly. How many hearts have you broken? I know what? Two. Why? Why? Two, two in one week. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Why? No, no I've, I've never broken anyone's heart. No, but seriously, I've never had my own heart broken, so yeah. I can't say I've learned any lessons from that. Really? But it's, uh, yeah. How's how's that possible? Not dating as much, or yes, I don't date. You don't date at I all. I don't date at all. Why? It's just not not something. I... Uh. <laughs> I don't know how to answer this question. What did you do? I just, I just don't date. Like I, I love being by myself and in my element and not attached to anyone. So okay. that's just my element. Is that something that's just temporary because you're young, or? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although I'm not that. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting older. I'm 25, so okay. I need to, you know, maybe settle down at some point. But uh, okay. for now, I'm just chilling. Just, just vibing. Yeah. You're 25 and you've never gotten your heart broken. Like I said, I'm breaking the heart, y'all. I don't get my heart broken. That is scary. <laughs> What I learned from my last relationship, I guess not to put up with a lot of things. I am, I've learned to respect myself a lot more and yeah, just not put up with things that aren't right and realize that when they're happening, not when it's over, you know? Okay. You like specifics because it's like so general. It doesn't really point into anything when you just say a lot of things. Like what, what is something that would be like if someone was dating you hypothetically, would you be like, nah boy okay if a guy is not all about me you know especially in front of other hands okay. if he's acting like he doesn't know me like that it's over as soon as i see that red flag i'm done okay. there's no way i'm putting up with that and just thinking oh maybe he just didn't want to show people like i mean secret no, no, no i don't like being a secret no. Ooh, take some time reflect and then Make the same mistake again. What? <laughs> That's the lesson you learned to make the same mistake again. Hey, I mean, sometimes you're on the right track. You just took a. <laughs> what mistake do you think you made in the last your last rodeo, <sighs> bro? Honestly, I think I think communication is so key, and sometimes you get like caught up in life and you you miss that a little. And I think you know you got to go back, just be yeah. like, hey, I'm here, I'm present. What lesson did you learn from your last heartbreak? Choose a woman wisely. A woman represents you. If you choose someone... God damn, stop, bro. You're cooking, dude. I don't know if it's that sexy voice or you're actually making sense, but go. <laughs> yeah, so your woman represents you. Choose your woman very wisely. Um, yeah, that's that's what I've learned from my last relationship. Last breakup, yeah. And okay. I'm bad man. Thank you for being on my channel. Yay! Thanks for having me.